Okay, this video is an explanation of the hookup of the FT891, the Yaesu FT891. In my mobile, I've got a Ram 1500 and I've got it mounted in the back seat. I had to take the back seat out because I was uh, doing a little uh, rearranging of some things here, but uh, a friend of mine wanted to know how I had my radio hooked up in the car so I could do FT8. And I'm using a DigiRig mobile device here, which you can check out by um, just Googling DigiRig. It's a pretty well-known device. I'm um, hoping to see him at Dayton this year. I think I have at least three or four of these bad boys in there. It's totally awesome. So the connectivity, and I apologize, I got a couple of things disconnected here. You know, let me just get this out of here. So what I have here is there is an accessory port here and an accessory port here, and then this is the USB port. Essentially, what you have to do, because the FT891 utilizes the USB port to be able to switch bands and get the frequency and cat readout. So this is basically your cat port here. So you need basically your, what is this? I think it's USB-A, something like that. So USB-A, I have that running all the way to my front seat. So that's one uh, connection that I have, a USB connection to my laptop. The second connection I have to my laptop is the DigiRig. So there's USB-C on here, and I have it running all the way to the front. So I have two USB connections into my laptop in the front seat. The DigiRig, you obviously can use the DigiRig to be able to ingest uh, serial communications from your radio. However, the 891 does not give us the ability to do that into the DigiRig. The, uh, the success report does not function the same way as it does, or it doesn't seem that way, for the 817 or the 818. You need to use this for cat control. So I'm only using one port on the DigiRig, and that would be the audio port. I'm not using the serial port. So I have, there are only three wires in this connector here, and this is the connector, what it looks like. It's kind of a, got a little bit of a circular uh, pin pattern. And um, I don't remember which pins are which, but there's plenty of documentation on the internet to tell you which pins to connect to what parts to, for the DigiRig. I think on DigiRig's website, he even has some information out there on how to do it. Um, I, I did it so long ago. And, and I wound up making a really short loop here. I wanted a, as small of connections as possible because I was getting some RFI in here, as you can see by all of these RF uh, chokes here. If you do not have a really high-grade USB cable for the USB connection to the 891, it's going to suck. The I, I had a kind of a basic, I don't know, like a $5, $10 USB cable that was uh you know certainly not beefy it probably drove over it a couple of times with the truck and then i you know pulled it out of my parts box and i was trying to use it and man that was probably the biggest part of my rfi uh, issue with using the 891 mobile with ft8 since i wound up purchasing a, a nice beefy usb cable that wasn't like three dollars at the dollar store and then i threw some chokes on here i have not had any problems whatsoever with the 891 on ft uh, on ft8 so that's what it is there's two usb connections this is usb a two and i've got this is a usb c cable at the other end and then i have this connection into the digi rig only using the audio port and then this is usb c and then it also goes usb c to the front to my laptop on my laptop, I have two USB-C connections, so I wanted to make it super easy and super simple. So I wound up buying cables that were that I don't need a gender changer on them or anything like that. So, um, so I'm in the process of starting to put things back together in the back here. I'm getting ready for my road trip to Dayton in a couple of months, and I want to make sure everything's uh, working good. 
So um, yeah, that's the story and that's my connections to the FT891 and how that works, especially with the DigiRig. Super awesome piece of equipment. I've got one for uh, two FT817s that I have, as well as the uh, 891. Super awesome. Uh, the dude's a great dude. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave some comments below. Thanks.